Game over, data scientists. You lost. ChatGPT is coming for your job. It is exceptionally good at coding, and it is exceptionally good at analytics work. There is nothing that you can do to avoid it. You will no longer have this 100K salary because there's no specialization in data science. Anyone can do it. Anyone can prompt GPT. You just need to be a prompt engineer. Well, that makes no sense. Let me get rid of that thought. The problem with my statements is not the part about ChatGPT being phenomenal at coding. It really is. It saves me hours every single day. And so many other people, if you extrapolate that into companies that hire thousands of engineers, they are saving hundreds of thousands of hours by using these tools. And if they're not using the tools, they are losing hundreds of thousands of hours compared to the competitors. So it's a really bad idea. However, Software engineering is not going to go away. We are going to need to build more and more software. But as they get more productive, I have no idea how many roles there are going to be. There is probably going to be less because it is just so much more productive than before. People extrapolate this to data science and say, well, ChatGPT is coding stuff. It is good at coding data science. It can make machine learning models. It can do analytics. Yes, it can. But what if I said from the very start of this channel, I, I don't mean to be that person that's like, I told you so, but actually, no, actually I do. Guys, I told you so. I express data science as the study of machine learning and deep learning. A lot of people think of it as just this, the broad study of uh, analytics. Well, we already had that role. We had data analytics roles. Data science will continue to, abs sorry, no. Machine learning and deep learning will continue to dominate the world. Everything, all of these amazing accomplishments, no matter what they can do, I don't care if they're writing data science code, it was made through deep learning. It's not just ChatGPT. There is so many other applications out there. It, it, it has the forefront right now, but of course we've got Dolly, the image creators. We're working on video creation. There is an absolute enormous capability right now, and not just through actual uh, theoretical research about these things, through products that people are creating. If you see the amazing amount of .ai websites that are popping up right now, you may or may not see one in, in the near future. Guys, deep learning will continue to revolutionize the world. And I have said from the beginning, and like this is why I pivoted my career to where it was, and it's why I'm wearing this hat right now. I looked in the camera to make sure I was wearing the right hat. Guys, deep learning is taking over. It's nothing new. And so you can't get automated by yourself. Like deep learning, it, it every new step here. We're at GPT-4. It was past 3.5. It was past 3. These are advances in deep learning. They are advances in uh, like making the deep learning models more efficient, better research, better data, better software that accompanies that. Guys, deep learning cannot automate itself. Whenever you've made something that automated something, you're going to have something that can replace that tool. It may limit the jobs, but it's still the only field that I can guarantee that cannot get automated. And there's amazing products that are being created from over like many, many companies. People now think that there's only like one company or two companies right now in the AI, AI space. It's not true. Startups are coming up all the time to use these tools that the other companies are making to make new tools of their own and, and to just make amazing products with them and very niche uh, customized user products that actually make sense. End of rant. Go on about your day. Go learn machine learning if you haven't already. Trust me. Bye-bye.